Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is the Seven of Diamonds back, bringing another video. This one's gonna be another Black Ops 3 leaked information video, so uh, stay tuned. Alright, so, this leak, um, it, I, I, I don't know about this one. Uh, I mean, it is rumored, so nothing confirmed, but uh, it is the Black Ops 3 weapon list, as I like to say it, or weapon. And so, uh, there's going to be some pictures on the screen, um, but I'm going to go ahead and read them off to you. They, they are a little far-fetched, but if this is the weapon, weapon list, list and uh, if some of these guns are in here, it's going to be an awesome game. I mean, I'm getting hyped for it. So, yeah, I'm going to start reading them off. For assault rifles, we have the AK-12, the HK-416, the ACR, the Honey Badger, the CM-901, the Vepper, SCAR-L, so, I mean, some pretty notable names like the AK, the HK, um, the Honey Badger, the ACR, and the SCAR-L, or as I like to call it, the scar -L. Moving on to SMGs and PDW, and uh, I actually watched the video, and this guy didn't know what PDW stands for. PDW stands for Personal Defense Weapon. So, yeah, get your facts right, bruh. Alright, so reading them off, we got the SCAR PDW, the PDR, the MSVS, the MP7, SM1, MAX11, UMP9, MSMC, JS9, and the Bison. So, that is interesting. Not some notables there. We have the MP7 and the UMP9. And uh, also, I guess, the, uh, the Max 11. I think that might be the Mac 11. Um, something similar to that, maybe? I'm not sure. Shotgun category. This is actually really cool. Uh, we got the Ross 12, the 612, the Sega 12, the KSG, the UTS 15, and the Origin 12. Now, for me, I know the Origin 12 very well. I've watched a couple of videos on it, and it's really sexalicious. And it's kind of like a Sega. Uh, but the Segas are really nice. They're kind of like an AK. And the KSGs, they're just phenomenal. I've actually held a real one in my hand, so, yeah. Uh, there are some notables there. We got some LMG and heavy weaponry. We have the M27IAR. We got the RPK-12. The, the F90HBAR. We got the hammer. We got the strike. We got the MK-46. So, some notables there. We got the RPK-12. Obviously, we have the hammer and the MK-46. Moving on to marksman rifles, we have the RFB, the Buzzard, the SA-58, the MK-14, and the G-28. Now for marksman rifles, it's a little different than sniper rifles. I'm thinking marksman is going to be more of a semi-automatic kind of thing, but you hickey. Um, and some notables, I guess, would be the MK-14. Um, yeah. So, for sniper rifles, we got the Ballista returning, which is going to be phenomenal. We got the Ballista, we got the SRS, we got the AX, we got the XLR Evo, the M89B, and the M408. So, uh, some notables there, obviously, the Ballista and the M98B. So, moving on to the last category, the pistols, which is going to be pretty cool. I'm actually liking a, uh, I'm liking this. So, uh, we have the M93, the G18, the SW500, the Rhino, Warrior, MP1522, and the Tech 15 Some notables here, obviously, the G18, if you don't know what that is, it's the Glock 18, and the Rhino, which, um, I'm not sure if it was in a Call of Duty before, but basically, it's a 454 Casor, I think that's the name of the round. Yeah, you could search it up. It's actually a really cool-looking revolver, and, uh, the M&P 1522 that shoots a 20 caliber cartridge. It's going to be a little interesting to see it in the game. Um, but that's that's why I think it's going to be a little some iffy. And it also says here on the bottom, weapons are priced based on real life, where the more expensive weapons have better stats, and camos are earned through challenges. So obviously, um, you can only buy DLC camos. So, yeah, that is going to be, um, 
pretty niftalicious. I'll have a link into the description where you can go to the site where I down well where I uh, saw all this information from. It's called Black Ops 3, um, something like that. So I think it's a pretty reliable source. I mean, it's nothing fishy about the website. And uh, and actually, here's a picture on screen now, and it says on the website, if we go back to Dice 2014, you'll remember the weapon image leaked below. Um, that would be the image you're seeing now. We can see the in this the, the, the in this list that the PDR is included in the SMG section, as I mentioned before. The weapon in the image looks very similar to the shape of the uh, of the PDR, but with an attachment and the silencer at the end. Uh, I don't really see the attachment too much, but I do see the silencer on the end. Uh, so that's gonna be pretty cool. And what are your thoughts on it? So comment that in the description down below. What do you think? You think this is real? Is it fake? Um, I don't know. It's kind of just a hype video. And so yeah, I appreciate you guys watching the video. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see y'all in the next video.